What's up, beautiful people? WTF is right. What the font? This video is about using fonts and colors to make your presentation stand out. But warning, you can have the prettiest fonts, colors, and images, but if you don't know your topic, your audience will be literally singing WTF. First thing you should know is most presentation software, whether it be Google Slides, PowerPoint, Keynote, they already have a ton of cool fonts that most people hardly explore. So if you click on that link, which can be found in the description, you'll see this kind of page, which allows you to kind of preview all these different fonts. So let's just say I like this Chelsea market. It looks kind of cool, funky. And so I go into Google Slides and the way to access that font is if you insert yourself a text box and then kind of go right there, you go down to the font menu, you can click more fonts, which, you know, has always been there, but I never actually clicked it. And when you click that thing, you could boom, there it is. You'll now have this font available for your use. Another way to get more fonts is to literally just go to help and type in get fonts and that'll bring you to a page which once again allows you to kind of search and look for different fonts. Now that's the basic stuff that hopefully you already know but if not give it a go. So another tip that's really easy to do and a lot of people forget about is use word art. It's right there in the program and it's pretty simple to use as well. So let's say I'm in eighth grade US history and, and I need to do a presentation about John Brown. So I go ahead and I'm gonna insert an image. I can find it from the web or maybe it's already on my computer and I find the image and I put it into Google Slides. Now make sure you're always resizing your image with the corner because you know, you're not a savage. You don't wanna do this to make it all look goofy and you definitely don't want to do this to make it look all distorted. So, you know, you resize your image and you're ready to start kind of like looking and creating a slide that looks good. Now, what a lot of students and teachers will do is they'll just kind of insert the font. It'll look really basic and it gets lost on the slide. Even if you try to be a little fancy and change the color, once again, it's really difficult for your audience to see. And so it just kind of takes away from your presentation. Word art is one way you could fix that. And basically you go to insert and you go to word art and you type in whatever the heck you want, John Brown, and you hit enter and boom, there it is. Now at this point, you can do all sorts of things. You can change that font uh, to any of the ones you have or the ones you can get. You can change the coloring. So perhaps you want orange, perhaps you want a border around it, and perhaps you want to make that border a little bit bigger. And you can resize your word art right there. You can also right click it and do all sorts of other things under format options from the size so that you can exactly size it the way you want. And you can add a drop shadow. So if you need a way for your text to pop, don't forget, drop shadow it like it's hot. Now, if you're going to be doing a super important presentation, the stakes are high, you need an A in the class and the presentation is going to decide that, you need to land that dream job, or you need to prove to the judge you are innocent, you may want to take your font game to the next level. And this website right here is super addictive. At FontMeme, you can get all these different really cool fonts from famous movies, album covers, the, the sky's the limit here, and you could spend all day just trying to find the coolest font in the world. And before I go any further, I need to give a big shout out to Amanda Sandoval. She has been kind of sharing all sorts of cool things. I have historically been a PowerPoint guy. I've been doing these things in my classroom with PowerPoint, but she's really sharing how to up your Google slide game. So go ahead and follow her on Twitter if you're a teacher, cause she has got all sorts of goodies to make you even more dope than you already are. How might I use this tool font meme? So imagine for a moment, I'm about to do a presentation about the Soviet satellite during the Cold War called Sputnik Sputnik. And so I'm gonna go ahead and find an image. So in this case, I, I don't have one already on my computer, so I'm gonna do a quick search. I'm gonna find all sorts of images. I know that this one is legit and I'm gonna insert it into my Google Slides. Now, as I'm creating my slide, perhaps I want to really kind of make this thing stand out. Maybe this was gonna be my title slide and I wanna choose a font that relates to my topic, a font that stands out. And so I start to kind of create my slide and you know, I resize it. It doesn't fit the entire thing, so I wanna make it kind of look cool. So I'm gonna make this black. So you go back to the website font meme, you know, I'm gonna go for famous just because of time. I'm gonna use the word Sputnik. And you know, I'm, and I'm gonna pick the low hanging fruit. I'm gonna use the Star Wars theme because this is a big part of the Cold War, this competition in space. I'm then gonna go ahead and click generate. And what I'm gonna get is a font that I can now use. If I wanna change the color, I can do exactly that. So you go ahead and click generate, you get your font. Then you click embed. There's a couple of different options in which you can embed this into your slideshow. I usually just get the direct image link, copy and paste it. Go back to my slideshow, insert image, 
by URL, boom, paste, there it is. And now it is on my slide and I can kind of re resize it however I like. And now I have a slide that just kind of really pops. And maybe this is my intro slide. Maybe I want to add some things to it, but it's a pretty simple process and there are thousands upon thousands of fonts to choose from. Move it away from fonts for a moment. Your use of color is not only a great way to convey a particular theme or idea in your presentation, but it also helps keep your audience's attention and sets you apart from all the other basic people that are gonna come after you. Now I have no idea what colors go with what, and luckily the internet exists. And this website featured in the description can help you make some wise choices when designing your presentation. So if you go to this website, it's kind of cool. You're able to upload an image, so we're gonna kind of stick with the one we were using earlier, the John Brown image. And as you upload it, what it will do is it will provide you with colors that really kind of complement the image that you've inputted. And so you have all these different colors that you could potentially use, and what you're gonna to wanna to do, I wanna use the tan color, I can go ahead and click that, go back to my slideshow, go back to custom, put in that one right there, boom, try that. Maybe that works a little bit better. So this is just another tool to help you kind of, you know, create a color scheme that will set your presentation apart. Another thing that can help you with colors in your presentation is I highly recommend using this Google Chrome extension or one similar to it. And basically it allows you to pick a color from any image and it will identify how to make that color. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So I already have the Chrome extension installed and Let's just say I'm doing a Star Wars presentation and here is my little extension. I'm gonna pick from a page and what I'm able to do is go anywhere on that page and it does a pretty good job at finding what color I'm looking at. So if I wanna match the color scheme of Vader's helmet, I can go ahead and click it and what I'll get, if you look right up here, is it's copied to the clipboard. And so if I want it, for instance, to go ahead and right click and change the background of the slide, I can go to color, I can go down to custom, I can copy and paste what it just gave me, and boom, I have that right here. Now, maybe I don't want that for the background of the slide, but I can use that for a font. You could really do lots of cool things to match colors to design your slideshow however you want. So that's going to do it. Hopefully this video will help you get an A on your next presentation or help you get that job you always dreamed of or save you from doing 25 to life in jail. If the video helped you, click like, tell a friend. And if you're looking for any history or government videos, we got you covered at apushexplained.com. Have a beautiful day. Peace.